What is up, YTPC? It's your boy Glass. Now watch Smoke Swag Channel. Thank you for watching. Yes, I'm back again. Back to back. Came on Saturday. I'm back on again Sunday. It is a cool Sunday afternoon. I think it's around 3 o'clock. Instead of smoking a pipe, I have my Sunday cigar. Today I am smoking a CAO Criolla. Now there we go. Uh, there we go. How about that? Let's see. There we go. That's what I'm smoking. Real good cigar. I used to be, I used to love CAOs. That's how I used to buy Brazilians, uh, CAO Gold, CAO Maduro, the whole line. Then about eight to ten years ago, I don't know what happened. The quality changed, so it's only certain CAOs I buy. It's this one. There's another one. I can't remember the name right now. I think it starts with T. I'll probably smoke it next Sunday. But I'm enjoying the cigar, enjoying the beer. Would have a bourbon, but I gotta go to work tonight. But I'm back on again today because I forgot something yesterday. I'm about to show you in a second. Plus, I seen something this morning. I ain't going to say it disturbed me, but it opened my eyes. But first off, before I forget, Since the last time you've seen me, not yesterday, but before then. I always wanted to do this, and I had time, and I had wood. <laughs> so I went ahead and did it. So I never, I'm tired of going in the house, going out in the basement, and going to get my pipes and everything for when I cut the grass or what have you. So I wanted to build a pipe rack for the garage. And this is what I came up with. Love it. I uh, only took me about maybe an hour, hour and a half. Like I said, I had some spare wood, as you can tell. Screwed it there, glued them, screwed them together. The holes, how many is that? Six, six pipes. I keep my, these are my kick around pipes, my corn cobs. Well, this one is not a corn cob, but still is a kick around pipe. And just to show you, made little divots to hold them in. So yeah, always wanted to do it, and I got it done. So, and my wife said I should stain it, but like I said, like I said, this is for the garage. And since you see my desk and my mobile table, same color. So I figured I might as well keep it the same. So yeah, tell me what you think about it. I, I definitely want to build some more. I'm gonna build some more, maybe a two level one. And I'm going to stain it for the basement because I want to build a, after I build my wife's bookshelf, after I build my daughter's bookshelf, I want to build me a shelf. About five, six levels so I can hold my bourbon, my pipe tobacco in it and put a couple of pipe stands in there. So yeah, just wanted to show you that. So yeah, I got to show you that yesterday. Go ahead and show you that today. You think it looks good? Pan, yeah. Was that symmetrical? So, yes. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is what I seen on ESPN this morning. Uh, yeah, Sports Center this morning. Got up, had my coffee. And my Danish, getting ready to wash clothes. And I was sitting there watching Sports Center. So they had a, I think it's called an SC feature. And they talked about, uh, I think he's still a golfer. Uh, what is his name? Morgan Hoffman. 
I'm not into golf that much, but I do remember him when he came out of Oklahoma State. He was the number one golfer, number one amateur golfer. Came out of Oklahoma State. <coughs> <coughs> And uh, he became a pro. I forgot how long he was a pro. He was real good. But he was losing muscle mass in his chest. And he noticed it. And he thought he had something going on up in there. So he, had, he said he, went to, he had like 15, no, did he say 15? I'm going to say 30 MRIs. I think that's what it said. It's on ESPN. If you go to ESPN YouTube page, you'll probably find it. But he was losing muscle mass. Went to the doctors for, ye I think for a year or two. Nobody knew what was going on until a doctor in 2015 told him he had FSMD. I can't remember what the FS stand for, but muscular dystrophy, which means he was losing muscle in his chest, shoulder area, and I believe his stomach, if I'm mistaken. They told me nothing they could do for him. They'll see him in a couple of years when he has, when he get, when he uses a walker or a wheelchair, come back. Which I, to me, I believe it was cruel the way they put it to him, the way he said they came at him, saying, "No, you, this is what you got. Deal with it. See you later." So he said, "If you to." To traditional medicine, he went to the holistic route, or even I don't even say primitive route. He said he eats raw food, raw vegetables. <laughs> There's different type of techniques he uses, uh, but the last one, uh, he goes into this these huts. I think he lived in, I believe he lived in Costa Rica now, if I'm mistaken. But there's a bunch of people that follow this tradition. They go into these clay-like huts, and they uh, it gets up to like 150 degrees. And you know, you sweat out all the toxins and stuff out your system. But the last one, eyebrow razor. And if I can put the video here, I'll put it here. He he also believes in what is that called uh, he believes in gosh drugs but it's called oh it'll, it'll come to me psychedelics I think it's called psychedelics he's into that which is like mushrooms and stuff like that but this is the one that got me urine therapy you ask, what is urine therapy? I'm about to tell you right now. They show him. Like I said, hopefully I can get the video right here. He urinates in a, in a, in a bottle, turns around, pours the urine in his hands and rubs it on his body so it can soak in his skin, chest, stomach. Then whatever he has left over, he drinks it. I sat there and said, whoa, and they show him drinking it. So my daughter came downstairs. She's getting up, getting her breakfast together, and I rewound it, and I showed her. And she had the same reaction I did. So when my wife woke up, I told her about it. She's like, you know what? Why did you tell me this? I said, well, you don't want me to tell you when you before you go to bed. And you definitely don't want me to tell you why you're eating. So, best time to tell you. And I, like I said, she's in. She got, oh, that's another thing I tell y'all. She started her business last week uh, as a life coach. And I'll get into that later. But I said, mm, something you can put in your, you know, talk about in, with your, in your podcast, about your, you know, in your business. <laughs> but I thought that was crazy. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you real quick. I'm 10 minutes in. I showed you my new pipe rack. Told you the story. I still got fun facts for you. 
But until next time, people, I'm going to go enjoy this cigar. Always love you. Thank you for watching. This is your boy Glass. This is Smoke Square Channel. As always, like them bowls or sticks. Until next time.